fourth anniversary of the Swachh Bharat Diva celebrated across the country. We have uh, a corporate leader who's been vocal about the need for sanitation in India and has been working on this issue for the last few years. The chairman of Advan Private Equity, the former country head of HSBC India, and a part of the Sanitation Coalition, Nena Lal Kidwai, joins us now. Nena, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. As I mentioned, you've been part of this journey for several years now. Uh, we have covered significant milestones. We've covered a long distance. Uh, if I were to ask for your assessment of what has been achieved, what has been the most significant part of uh, the achievements so far, what would you say? If you look at uh, the performance on rural and the statistics are there for us to see, we have seen a huge increase in terms of penetration by way of provision of toilets, particularly in rural India, which the statistics as of now have taken us from 40% to north of 80%. And this is a huge achievement. We also have states which have declared themselves open defecation free and districts competing with each other to do the same. So the language of ODF has entered every panchayat in India. Uh, we have seen arguments of uh, those that suggest that, hey, not every one of these guys who declares that they're open defecation free are indeed so. And statistics do show that 85% of those audited, and these audits happen on a rolling basis three to four months later, have actually shown that 85% are indeed open defecation free. 15% fail the test, but that 15% remains very committed to staying on the ODF track and are keen to be re-audited so they can prove themselves. So the journey in terms of not just provision of toilets, but being open defecation free is well on course in rural India. Urban India, we need to do a bit more. Okay, so uh, important there to note that building toilets has uh, achieved a significant uh, uh, breakthrough. 80% is what you're saying now, especially when it comes to penetration in rural India. And even on ODF, while we've seen a 15% failure rate during the course of the audits, you're saying 85% uh, have met with the norms. But, uh, Nana, you know, what more now beyond just building toilets? Is that going to be enough i mean we've reached an 80 percent penetration as per the data that you've just shared with us but where do we go from here well look uh, clearly uh, the world when look looking at the sdgs which were agreed and established by the un across countries uh, one of them is on sanitation and the sanitation and water uh, ticks for india uh, and indeed for the world because india is such a big part of it there is an issue, and that issue is that we had open defecation, which was seen as a health hazard. And statistics have shown that diarrhea and deaths by diarrhea for the under five-year-olds is a huge issue in our country. Uh, so for us, the provision of toilets is a start. We have to provide toilets. We have to make sure people use them. We have to make sure that the toilets are maintained so people continue to use them. and. The critical additional area which uh, the whole program now going forward, which is ODF Plus, is about, is ensuring that the treatment of what goes into the toilets also happens. Because otherwise it would be a very expensive exercise where we'd have funneled all the shit basically into the toilet only to stick it right back where it came from, in which case it would, have been, it would be a meaningless exercise. So the treatment therein becomes very key to tackle. You've raised a very important point there, Nana, uh, and I believe that that is what we now need to focus on. Treating human waste now needs to be a priority uh, item. I mean, we've been talking about manual scavenging and the curse of manual scavenging, but treating human waste now needs to be given priority. So treatment is important. Yes, so treatment, you're absolutely right, has to be a priority. The good news is that the gold standard uh, that has been established in rural India, the twin pit toilet, de facto takes care of treatment even while the toilet is in use. Because if built to correct specs, the process of uh, leaching and transformation of the waste happens even while the toilet is in use. And when the first pit fills up and is shut off and the second pit starts, that you can actually 
after a couple of years of the sealing of the pit, uh, and it has been proved that it is pathogen free uh, and is fertilizer should a farmer want to use it for his crop. So what you've got in rural India is treatment built in to the toilet mechanism, which is really a good outcome. The solutions in urban India are well known. Sewage treatment is really what is required. But there we have failed because less than 50% of sewage is actually treated and the figure is more like 30% in most of our cities. So the solution there, to my mind, and research is showing, is that we use decentralized plants. So we don't always have to build a huge plant which takes 10 years to build. We can have smaller plants at one-eighth the cost and that are built in a year or two. And for example, a resident welfare association, a large buildings, all can have these STPs which treat the waste. And the mechanism then has to be to remove what is left of that solid waste and take it to a central facility, which then transforms it either into fertilizer or indeed, as they're doing in Africa, which is using this uh, solid human waste, treated human waste, uh, to power electricity and uh, burn as briquettes for cooking. So that virtual cycle needs completion. Then I just... Right. You spoke about uh, treating urban, uh, treating uh, waste, but then I want to talk about where we go from here. You know, there's been a lot of emphasis on creating awareness. In fact, uh, a global sanitation conference is underway here in the national capital uh, to mark Swachh Bharat. But beyond awareness now, uh, what more does, uh, you know, the center uh, as well as multiple civic agencies now need to focus on? So behavior change in the first place is about awareness and there are huge programs on that. Uh, television channels such as yours, who would have thought a business channel will be carrying and featuring programs on Swachh Bharat? But that is indeed the case. Uh, we have seen uh, a huge call from corporate India where uh, there are programs which are based, you know, with film stars like Amitabh Bachchan, uh, like Akshay Kumar, actually leading the charge on the behavior change piece. And the fact is that it isn't just that women and children need to use the toilets, it's men too. And that messaging is pretty clear. So usage of toilets leads to the demand for toilets in the first instance. Great examples of women in villages who will refuse to marry into families that don't have a toilet. In fact, we've got a, a, Hollywood, a Bollywood hit uh, in Toilet A Prem Katha, which does, defines exactly that so well. So what we have is a move to a demand for a toilet. The use of the toilet is absolutely going up. Awareness by citizens of India and therefore Swachh Bharat in all the citizen uh, reviews that happen uh, across channels, across newspapers, puts the Swachh Bharat agenda right up there as one of the favorite programs of citizens. So the awareness building is at a huge level and it cannot stop because it needs to just continue at the pace that it is. The issue now is on the implementation where beyond toilets to ensure the maintenance, to ensure that those that are still left out get covered and the treatment are followed through in a way that we are able to close the loop to ensure that we develop a sanitation and clean environment uh, which is indeed open defecation free. And then I'll end then by asking you about our aspiration and our goal to be open defecation free by 2019. Uh, what do you believe uh, is the need of the hour to ensure that it's not just a statistic uh, uh, and it's not just a number, but we actually meaningfully achieve that target? And you are right. And therefore, this whole issue of what we're calling ODF plus, which has been embraced by governments, in fact, four states have already set out their programs for ODF plus and plus is about the treatment. So right, we're open defecation free. Now let's ensure that we're treating the shit that we're funneling into the toilets. And that is a very huge part of what we at the India Sanitation Coalition are working on. And indeed what the government will continue and must work on in urban India and also in rural India. And for that, we as citizens have to be asking where does the shit go? And we have to take 
responsibility and accountability for ensuring if we live in a building that that building is treating things the way it should if we have a pit into which we know the shit goes and there are what we call honey suckers which are the trucks that go around removing the sewage that we know where that truck is emptying the shit not that it just pulls it out of our sewage pit and empties it into the next vacant plot it sees or into some water body and it is this awareness of us as citizens of government and the culpability it builds in terms of compliance and the solutions which have to be provided by government but together with the pub, with the private sector and with uh, the development uh, uh, sector that we will find that we can get to that next level which is how do we treat the shit which we are now so effectively funneling into toilets. Well, it is important to continue to have this conversation and we hope that uh, the implementation on the ground also continues to gather momentum. Nena Lal Kidwai, thanks very much for joining us here to explain to us the experience over the last few years at the uh, India Sanitation Coalition and uh, with Swatch Bharat and the goals that we hope to achieve. With that, it is time for us to wrap up this CNBC TV 18 special. Don't go anywhere. There's a lot more coming up. We're going to be right back with you.